hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to look at one of the vector processing tools we are going to look at a tool called difference you know simply in mathematics or maybe in science or whatever the case is just a minus b or b minus a right good now um we have two layers here we have a layer for contours and then we have a layer for buildings, right? Now you can see basically that um, the buildings and the contours are overlapping and then some of the contours are passing through the buildings. And one of the characteristics of contours in topography is that your contours should not what, um, pass through your building, right? Good. So um, on today's video, we are going to show you how to find difference between the contour layers and then the building layers thereby extracting that difference so that we are now going to have what a third um, would i call it we're now going to have um, a third layer that um, the contour lines that are passing inside of the buildings have been what have been extracted so the first thing is that we come down to vector we go to geoprocessing tools and then we come down to difference now um you can actually read them um, the guide this algorithm extracts features from the input layers that falls outside or partially overlap features in the overlay layer right good now the input layer features that partially overlay the features in the overlay layer are split along those features boundary which should be what our building boundary and only the portion outside the overlay layer are retained that's why you're going to see that the portion of what the input layer that are inside of this our overlay or let's say yeah, the overlay layer will be what will be removed or maybe will be extracted out right so the input layer here yeah, is what um, contours the overlay layer will be what will be um, buildings right good as the overlay layer then um, advanced um, parameters just leave it as default are we going to create it on a file maybe save it to a file no let's just um, run it um, as a scratch layer so we click on run now we have what our algorithm successfully run so if we decide to turn off this um, contour layer we are going to see what a third layer which is a difference layer that now contains what our contour values however the contour values it contains do not pass through the buildings again unlike the contours that we had earlier that we are passing through the buildings so let's open our attributes table here and see we still have an um, attribute table the the features under the attribute table is z value let's see the attribute table for the primary layer that we had open attribute table we still have what z value right so basically the attribute term table was not altered however there was a comment let's come back there difference now attributes are not modified although properties such as um, area or length of the features will be modified by the difference operation if such properties are stored as attributes those attributes will be will have to be manually updated right but now basically your attributes will not be modified although there is this word caveat right but so whatever that has to do with maybe length or area will be what will be affected which you are going to want update manually so um that's why you can see that um on our new m um, layer the attribute term um, we have is still the same as the attribute we add on what the old um, layer right good that contains all the features so now this is a practical example of what the different um, tool or the different um, should i call it yeah, the difference tool under what the um geo, uh, geo processing tools of what vector right the vector geo processing tool so if you have um, other applications where you would want to use what the difference you can actually use the same um tool for such what applications right so yeah thanks for coming to class and um, we hope we've provided solution to this particular survey in gis related problem we are going to see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time Bye.